gang, it's your boy Massable27 here. It's been Incense Pokemon Go podcast recording night. And as we were recording it a day early, because I'm flying to Berlin in the morning for GoFest, and can't wait for that one. Hopefully see you all out there. Certainly some of the gang are already out there, I believe so. We're going to have fun over the next couple of days. We have had a massive bit of news drop in the game, and we've had the six-year anniversary information in Pokemon Go. Can you believe it? Six years we've been spending time playing this game. So the picture immediately draws party hats to Charizard and Charmeleon, but there's a little bit more to the event. We're gonna run through all the details now on a little bit of a bonus vlog before I have my travel day to Berlin. So the announcement goes trainers, it's time to celebrate Pokemon Go and party like it's 2016. And to help kickstart this anniversary into high gear, we're having a sensational six themed celebration, including the special emphasis on Charizard which is number six in the Pokedex. With event theme field research and a battle weekend taking place, there's sure to be plenty of fun for trainers everywhere to enjoy. What's why our intel suggests there may be components to this event that will only be revealed after certain ultra unlock conditions are met. Could Pokemon Go Fest Berlin have something to do with this? Hmm. So anyway, the Pokemon Go anniversary event will start on Wednesday, July the 6th at 10 a.m running right through to Tuesday, July the 12th at 8 p.m. It's kind of a six day deal, plus a little bit more over those days. So Pokemon debuts, these are the Pokemon that we make their debuts. That's Party Hat Charmeleon, Party Hat Charizard, and Cake Costume Pikachu. Now, interestingly, Charmeleon can be shiny for the first time in Pokemon Go as an encounter, the second stage encounter. We're used to Charizard and Pikachu being shiny, but those little party hats, will be interesting. And obviously you should be able to evolve your party hat Charmander into one of these ones. You've already got one of those for a previous event. So that's pretty cool. Wild Encounters, there's gonna be a few of them. I thought we saw Squirtle, Charmander with a party hat and cake costume Pikachu, all of them being shiny. Joined by the following shiny party animals, Machop and Ladybug, who have also got spotlight hours in July. Okay, Ralspaneri can also be shiny. And then we've got a little few that have been left out. That's Venipede, Chespin, Fennekin, Froakie, and Pikipak. We do have Litleo and Bunnelby also shiny in there. If you're lucky, you might encounter the following. So Gabite, Clauncher, and Helioptile. Don't know if you're going to be lucky if you encounter any of those ones. Maybe Gabite, I should say, is not bad. We have raids, and we've got plenty of them. One star raids, we'll see Kate Costume, Pikachu, and Dratini appearing. Both could be shiny. Three star raids, Venusaur, Party Hat, Charizard, Blastoise, Tyranitar, and Metagross. Obviously, those last two can't be shiny, unfortunately. Five-star raid C Zapdos, which can be shiny, reintroduced into the legendary egg tier. And Mega Raid are shared with Charizard X and Y. If you're lucky, you might encounter shiny ones of those. Mega Charizard Y will appear in Raid Battles between Wednesday the 6th and Thursday the 7th. And Charizard Y will get a little bit longer. Why? <laughs> July 7th to July 12th. Field research tasks, and there's plenty of starters in this batch. Yes, this is going to be all right, free for all, but Bulbasaur, Charmander, Squirtle, Chikorita, Cyndaquil, Totodile, Trico, Torchic, Mudkip, Turtwig, Chimchar, Pitwick and Snivy, Tepic, Oshawott and Chespin, otherwise known as Gens 1 through to 5, I believe, can all be shiny. They can be encountered as full research tasks. Fennekin, Froakie, Rowlet, Little and Podlio cannot be shiny, not released yet. There'll be new avatar items and stickers in the game and all that jazz. There's a second part to this though as we struggle on down, as I jump all over the place, Battle Weekend in Pokemon Go from Saturday, July the 9th at 12 a.m. to Sunday, July the 10th at 11.59 p.m. in local time. There'll be event bonuses. Team Go Rocket Blooms will appear every three hours. You do up to 20 Go Battle League sets each day. That's amazing if you want to go for that. And four times start some Go Battle League rewards. That's exciting. And there's a charge TM to help a Shadow Pokemon forget the charge attack frustration. That's what we like, get rid of frustration. It feels like it's been a while since we can do that. We now have to save Shadow Latios as well. Giovanni doesn't do anything halfway after trainers around the world to save Shadow Latios. The Team Go Rocky Boss has just had to get his hands on Shadow Latios. And now it needs your help. Get ready to face up against Giovanni and rescue Shadow Latios. Now Latios is better than Latias. So there might be some people that have stacked up hoping to get two Shadow Latios encounters. But either way, I'm gonna have one of each after this event. There'll be a Shadow Pokemon switch around as well. Team Go Rocket Grunts, as well as their leader Sierra Cliff and Arlo, are also using different Shadow Pokemon. Help Spark Blanche and Candela overcome their adversaries 
and rescue the Pokemon, the Shadow Pokemon. If you're lucky, you may encounter different shiny Shadow Pokemon than normal too. In addition, Tingo Rocket has also turned the following Pokemon into Shadow Pokemon to defeat Tingo Rocket Grunts to save them. That includes Geodude, Shinx and Purloin making their debuts and more. There might be some new shiny shadows in the mix as well. I've heard a few people say maybe shiny Purloin might be the one. We'll wait and see. There'll be special research sent on Giovanni available as well, completed to earn Super Rocket Radar. The special research will be available to claim until the end of the season of Go on September the 1st at 10 a.m. local time. So it's quite cool. That's all been dropped literally. We normally record the podcast on a Thursday, we record it on a Wednesday this week to allow yours truly the opportunity to go and fly to Berlin and also be included on the podcast. Please check it out in Sense, a Pokemon Go podcast. Well, that is it. That is a nice little bonus vlog I wanted to include on my channel before I get in the air and get over to Berlin. But everyone, please keep safe. Hope you enjoyed this one. Smash the like. Members of Massive Gang, thank you for your support. And members of my Patreon, thank you so very much as well, as always. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing as well. If you stumbled across the channel, that'd be really good. Well, that is me done. When I see you next, I'll be in Berlin. Keep safe, everyone. Until then, have a blast. Take care.